Thank you for calling home, Log. How may I help you? I'm in my fifth year in sales. The company I joined right after graduating from college mainly runs restaurant review sites. Akira, can we talk about the upcoming event? The one on Mother's Day? I picked some good restaurants out, so I'll send you this list later. So why do you start preparing for this event a lot sooner than you usually do for other events? It's every year. I just want to be ready. Mother's Day means a lot to me. Thanks for the list. No worries. Midori Nishimiya is very knowledgeable about food and beverage. I was lucky to have her as my mentor when I was a rookie. The new party is on the weekend. I'll rent a cottage for us with money out of my pocket, so make sure to get work done by Friday night. Yeah, what a nice boss. I can't wait. Saturday morning, I came to the cottage sooner than I was told. I was really excited like a nine-year-old boy right before summer vacation. You can't blame me. <clears throat> Kengo became sick? I'm really sorry. I took him to a hospital and a doctor told us he should be hospitalized. His life is not in danger, though. <laughs> Okay, you're his daughter. Don't you want to stay beside him? He asked me to get through this without him. I've been looking for a chef since this morning, but... Hmm. Okay, I'll make some calls. What's going on? Hey, Akira. Actually, the chef I hired has become sick. Oh, what are we going to do about the party? The food has arrived, but we don't have a chef. All the restaurants in this area are really busy. They can't send us a chef. Um, do you have his recipes? Yeah, he gave me copies of them because I had to order food and ingredients. Can I take a look at them? My parents used to run a restaurant, and I grew up helping them out. I'm not a pro, but I have some experience. Oh, really? That's great. I checked through the recipes that Midori handed to me. All the recipes are written in detail. I can cook all the items. Not as good as your father would do, though. Are you fine with that? Yeah. We have no other choice. I'll entertain everyone with my anecdotes and booze until food is ready. I'll help you cook, Akira. Thanks. Let's get started. We start cooking. You must be used to this. That's my line. You could be a chef. I started learning how to properly cook recently. We meet many chefs through work. I thought I should be more knowledgeable about food and cooking. You're great. I respect you. <laughs> you motivated me. You're really knowledgeable. <laughs> Well, I can only season food and cut vegetables. Really? Could you mince the onions next? Got it. We cook with good teamwork. A moment of your time, please. It is all great to see all of you. Let me start by saying that everyone here is not just employees to me. You guys are my... <laughs> nah, screw it. Let's get drunk and have a hangover tomorrow. Cheers! Cheers! Come by! Ooh, I like this. The food tastes even better with this view. Seems like everyone liked it. We did it. No, you did it. Thanks a lot, you two. Everything was awesome. It's my pleasure. I'm really sorry that we caused you trouble. She became sick. No one is to blame. I'm really tired as though my blood is full of alcohol. But the tiredness gives me a ticklish happiness and a sense of accomplishment. The thoughts that spin inside me are taking shape and coming together. Do you have a second? Yeah, you need help with something? <laughs> I'm quitting my job. <laughs> what happened? My parents' restaurant closed down because of a recession. I joined this company because I thought I could support local small restaurants like my parents. But my mind changed after the New Year party. I want to run my own restaurant. I'm going to start learning to be a chef. <laughs> Have you decided where you'll do that? No, not at all. I thought I should tell you as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot for everything. Give me a couple of hours. I think I can introduce you to someone. I'll make some calls. Uh, huh? Yeah, sure. In a few hours, Midori comes back. Akira, uh, can we talk in the meeting room? Y yeah So, um, why don't we move in together? <sighs> what? Wh what are you talking about? I thought you called your friends that are chefs or something. <sighs> oh, no. Sorry. I messed it up. Okay, so my father runs a restaurant, but he's been hospitalized. He didn't take any apprentices. There's no one who'll take over the restaurant. He doesn't want to sell it. He's been looking for a trustworthy person. I see. So is he fine with me taking over his restaurant? He will be because I know you well. My father is the chef who was going to cook at the New Year party. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think? I want to see him. Great, let's go. Okay, this is my first time coming to Midori's parents' house, of course. I'm Kenko. Hello, I'm Akira Itami. Your daughter often covers for me at work. Okay, son, how did you make Midori fall for you? What? Don't be silly. He cooked at the party as you're standing. What you need to say first is thank you very much. Thank you very much. Don't worry, I heard you became sick. So, have you recovered? Yeah, 
It wasn't a big deal. My daughter easily gets paranoid. <sighs> the doctor told you to rest for a while. You're such a workaholic. You're a chef, waiter, deliver guy. Akira, I want you to cook something for me. Sure, what do you want me to cook? Whatever you're good at cooking. I want to know you better first. Come on, I'll show you to the kitchen. Hey, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I go to the kitchen to see some food in boxes. I need to show him what I can do. I can't mess this up. Hmm. What do you think? He's still cooking. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for waiting. Looks great. Sea Bream Aqua Paza. My parents' restaurant was Italian. They mainly served fish. Hmm. Okay, I'll have it. Sure. <laughs> Not bad. But I can't let you work in the kitchen right away. Don't quit your job yet. You're still young. Don't rush into anything. Instead, I'll train you from scratch and throw room and board. Move in with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm happy for you. <gasps> you haven't got my approval yet. Okay, I'll cook something for you now. Give me a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Akira, do you want a drink? Dad, would that be all right? I'm gonna cook some meat for him. Give him a glass of red. <laughs> okay. I move in with Midori's family and tell my boss that I'm quitting someday soon. Okay, well, I'll miss you, man. I'll call you for next year's New Year party. Thank you. I'll become a full-fledged chef by then. I know you will. Hey, I'll definitely go to your restaurant. Good luck. Yeah, thank you, but I'm not quitting yet. <laughs> right, Midori's father is really strict. No, this is bad. You overcooked this. How long you should cook it changes according to the room temperature and the humidity. Remember that. <laughs> okay, I'll give it another try. Uh, Dad! Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Keep cooking. Don't make the food go to waste. Y yeah. I'll be in the living room. Bring the food when it's done. Midori leaves the kitchen with Kengo and comes back to the kitchen in a minute. He took medicine. He's fine. How's it coming? It'll be done soon. Let me help you plate it. Thanks. <sighs> Somewhat good. <sighs> I'll take a nap. Come wake me up later. Yeah. Despite whatever he tells you, he often tells me happily that you've been getting better. Really? He's transparent because he only drinks on anniversaries. Then, on the day when I moved in with you guys... He opened a bottle of wine. Dad would only drink on anniversaries and special days that had something to do with mom. Uh, by the way, did your mother... When I was a kid, the restaurant became so popular that they had to work really hard. She also might have been here if she had a medical checkup at least once a year. After she passed on, his restaurant adopted a mandatory reservation-only system. He could make time to spend with me. He loves you very much. <laughs> he does. He's bad at expressing his feelings, but he's sweet at heart. Half a year later. We're catering for a party next weekend. Akira, you'll cook too. Really? Yeah, you're good enough. Thank you. You won't regret this. I'm happy for you. Thank you too. I didn't do anything. You introduced me to your father. I'm really thankful to you, Midori. I'll repay you for this. <laughs> okay, anytime you want. <clears throat> what? No, I just remembered my wife. I'll drink a bit. Akira, drink with me. Sure, on the day of the party. Dad, I have a question about... <gasps> Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Dad, you should go to the hospital. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not in a condition to cook properly. Akira, you're on your own. What? It was for the people we know the last time. But this time, it's a party for one of your biggest clients, right? I've taught you how to cook the food that you'll serve at the party tonight. Remember what you've learned and give it your best shot. You can do it. Trust me. <laughs> Midori, you should go with him. I'll get a rest and go to the hospital myself. But... Don't worry, I'm fine. You should help Akira now, not me. Okay, make sure to go to the hospital. <sighs> Hello? It's me. Midori and I arrived at the hall where the party is gonna be held. Hello, I'm Akira Itami. Mr. Nishimiya told me about you over the phone. I'll show you to the kitchen. Thanks. Akira, what should we start with? Oh, um, uh... <sighs> Take a deep breath. Relax. You can do it. Dad told you that because he knew you could. Trust yourself. Y yeah I can feel my legs again. Things don't look blurry anymore. I can do it. Uh. Hey, it's yours. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Did um, I interrupt? Dad, I thought you went to the hospital. I did, but I thought I should see how it went. I had some of the food while talking to my client. Akira, you did a good job. <laughs> what? I thought you'd be happy. Um... We just can't believe it. He never praise others. We've lived together for a long time. He's part of the family now. Your mother would have said the same thing. Oh, 
Thank you. So, I'm fine with you too. Uh, you know, make sure to tell me when the time has come, she also said. If you find the right man, chain him up to a wall. Did she say that? <laughs> what a family. Before long, I leave the company and become Midori's father's apprentice. We often drink together. When my wife and I started this restaurant, it went great. I didn't want to blow the chance. I thought I should earn a lot of money for her and Midori. But my wife was sickly since she was little and I didn't pay much attention to her because I was busy working. <sighs> Don't make the same mistake as me, son. Make my daughter happy. <sighs> I will, with my life! I'm not smart and bad in romance, but I know who's the right one for me. Will you marry me? I want you to be my home. Yeah, sure. I'm so happy. We'll build a big, strong family together. Midori's father has handed his restaurant over to me and retired. I rested for a long time. I'm as good as new. I'll go around the country. There are a lot of restaurants I want to visit. Oh, are you sure? The doctor gave me the green light. Don't worry. I'll be back by the time you give birth to the baby. I'll never die before I see her. Okay, be careful, Dad. Don't worry about me, Dory. Yeah, thanks. See you. He's gone. <laughs> I'll add new items to the menu by the time he comes back. He'll be impressed. I have an idea for a new item. Can I give it a try? He wouldn't let me work in the kitchen. I want to improve my cooking skills before our baby is born. We feel secure when someone reliable is beside us. You can also become reliable if you improve yourself. Is there someone who you feel secure by the side of? 